A podcasting media host that you can trust is an important part of your podcasting effectiveness. In this video, I'm going to show you the new Libsyn 5 dashboard. Okay, Libsyn 5 is the newest iteration of a media host for podcasting that has been around for a long, long time. I'm going to use my Bitwarden plugin here to log into my Libsyn account. And you see it's got the fancy little swirly graphics going on here. And this is the dashboard. In this video, that's all I'm going to show you is the dashboard to just give you a flavor of what's in here and watch future videos for the details on different areas of this. Now, I love that it begins with a stats snapshot. This stats snapshot shows you a lot of information. Okay. You've got the past three months total downloads for your entire podcast. So that's from episode one to the present. You've got this month's total downloads from the last 30 days, essentially. And then you've got this week's total downloads right here on the right. Now, in all of these, you can either look at unique downloads, the way that Libsyn counts downloads, or you can click this little toggle and get IAB downloads. Now, what's IAB? It's what advertisers are going to look for when they are asking about your stats. They want to know that you've got an adequate audience for them to feel like investing in advertisements on your show is worth it. Now, let me show you something on each of these as well. You can download the image, the data, or print it. You can also view it in a different format. So it shows you each day within that period, what, or in this case, each month rather, how many uh, downloads had happened during that month. Isn't that cool? You can do the same thing here in this period, and it's going to break it down on the weekly basis. And then on this one, it's going to break it down on a daily basis. Isn't that cool? Now let's scroll on down. It's going to show you recent episodes. All right. So here's the names of these episodes, the dates they went live on Libsyn, what their status is. You see some of these are scheduled already. At any time, you can click into any of these, edit the edit episode, see the stats, see the view. Down here, let's go to one of these that's published and view the stats and see what it does. See, it's going to take me to the stats for that particular episode. It's going to show me all-time downloads for that episode this week, this month. See, these are all the same because this episode just came out. Last seven days, last 30 days this year, they're all the same. But over time, they will they will change. And then looking down here, it's going to show you a graphic uh, version of that. Then it's going to show you per country how that episode did. And isn't that amazing? I love it. Let's go back to the dashboard. And over here, you can embed an episode very quickly. So you just find the episode you're looking for, say, get the code, and it's going to provide you a code for that episode. You just click the copy embed. You can paste that into a WordPress website, into various places that you own, and you can actually change the look of this player. You can get a small player. You can get a standard player, which should have your artwork, but it's a little smaller. You can also get that large player that you saw at first. You can tell it to display the art or hide the art. Okay, I like displaying the art. You can have this download icon be hidden or displayed. And the down download icon is right here. So display, hide. And you can also have it hide the title if you want. Now, I personally think you should have the title there, but it's talking about your show title. So this way, it's just more clean. It's more simple. And think about it. If you actually did not display the art at all, that would be a very clean looking player right there. You can change the color. You can even adapt what time you want the episode to start at and then click the copy embed and it will start the episode exactly where you tell it to start. This is a very functional player. I really love it. Now down here are quick links for your show, your Libsyn classic feed. So if you need to provide your feed to someplace like Apple or Spotify or someplace like that so they can get you in their directory. That's what you're going to grab right there. You click this link thing and it copies it for you, tells you right there. And then your podcast page means on Libsyn. And then your show player embed. Let me show you what this looks like. This is a show level player that has all your episodes and it'll just keep scrolling back and back and back and back and back. And you can even choose by category, different categories you may have set up. I'll show you another in another video how to set up categories and why you might want to do that. So that is the dashboard of Libsyn. Now, you notice over here on the left, you've got some different options. You've got an episode section, which I'm going to do an ep uh, a video on that. You've got your 
all in stats section where you're going to be able to view your stats at a very, very uh, deep level. And then down here, you've got your storage capacity showing how much you've got left. And you've got overall show settings that you can look at here. Your podcast settings, web-based destinations, custom websites. I'm going to go through all of this in future episodes. So stay tuned. And then over here on the right-hand side, inside your account, you've got account settings, support, and your logout. And right up here is where you do a new episode. Keep watching the channel. I'm going to have a video on this right away. And you'll be able to see how to use Libsyn to publish a new episode to all the platforms. It's super simple. And it's so intuitive and a joy to use. All right. So if you want to set up a Libsyn account, Libsyn does this amazing thing. If you use my podcast affiliate link, where if you go to Libsyn, I get paid a little bit for sending you, but you pay the same price you would otherwise, you will also get one and a half months or so free. Now, why do I say or so? Well, it's because whatever month you're in, you will get the rest of that month free when you purchase, and then you'll get the following month free. So say you did this on December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, you would get the rest of December free and then you would get all of January free. It's an incredible deal. And it's not that pricey to begin with. They have $5 plan, a $15 plan, a $20 plan. Check out the pricing on the Libsyn website. And I think you're really going to enjoy getting your podcast rolling with one of the best media hosts out there.